Americans. Yeah. Hello, Americans. That's what we are. We aren't Democrats, Republicans, or Independents. We are Americans. Yeah. And we forget that. And I want to thank you for caring, for coming out and caring about America, demanding from your elected officials, talking to the same, you know, what's going on? What is going on? And reminding them that they work for who? They work for us. They work for you. And not the medical office. We're sick and tired of being sick and tired. They've forgotten up in Sacramento whose state this is. They're spending our money. And we have to tell them we're not their private ATM any longer. You know, they're always saying these legislators up in Sacramento, this is where common sense is in common in Sacramento. They know what's best for us. They don't know what's best for us. The person in the mirror knows what's best for us. And we have to remind them of that. You know, as mayor, I'm constantly getting these unfunded mandates from Sacramento. I'll tell you one thing. Unless you can have, you can pay for it, there are no more mandates. You know, we have um, Sacramento telling us what to do, when to do it, how to do it. They have this thing about, this thing of called a budget. <laughs> Every year, they forget to balance it. And I'm not talking about just balance it, finding out where they're going to get the revenue from. And it's not from us. We're sick and tired, right? Sick and tired of sick and tired. We're tired of them raising taxes. And for what? You know, we have all these taxes for to take care of our roads. Drive up and down. The potholes. What are they doing with our money? Our money, not their money. We need to tell them to stop spending. Stop spending. And every single program that you have or you think you have, reevaluate it and see whether or not it's doing what it's supposed to do. And if it isn't, cancel it. It's just, again, basic common sense that's not common in Sacramento. You know, Meg Whitman was talking about a couple days ago in the education department, having 150 employees working on a program that's already been canceled. And they wonder where, wonder where. You know, we're talking about a business-friendly state. California is not a business-friendly state. Not at all. We have to turn that around. I'm constantly going to different states, and the mayors are coming up to me and say, oh, wow, you're from California. Keep doing what you're doing, because you're increasing our business in our state. We have to stop that. They just don't understand what they're doing in Sacramento, and we have to keep that. Again, keep jobs here. Don't send them overseas or any place else. We have to keep them here. It, it's basic common sense, isn't it? If the jobs are here, the revenue goes up, and if the revenue goes up, everyone has jobs. I'm running for state assembly. And we've walked over 36,000 homes already. And I'll tell you, what's the difference? I'm a Republican and proud of it. But we've walked Democrat and declined the state. And half of them have said they're going to vote for us. Why? Because they know it's in their best interest. We need to turn this state around. We need to turn this country around. You know what it's right? Keep it right. And when it's wrong, make it right. We have to do that. As I said, I'm in the targeted seat, number one targeted seat, because they know that we're going to win. We're going to change this. A lot of people don't realize in Sacramento, the Democrats, two seats away from the assembly from having the majority, three seats away three seats away in the assembly. And if you know if that happens, Katie, bar the door. We won't have representation. Why am I here? Because I'm going to represent you in Sacramento. We need people that are being held accountable.
who will say enough is enough. Yeah. I need your support. I need your support because I want to live here. I want to retire here. How many of your friends tell you, as soon as we retire, we're going to leave? We have to turn that around. I went to a, a um, future constituent store that was a Democrat, and she looked at me and said, Mayor Wilson, I'll, I'll talk to you because you're from San Ramon, and I know your record. But I've never voted for a Republican in my life. So let's, let's talk. Jobs, quality of life. And her daughter came in, just graduated from UCLA. And I said, oh, you just graduated from UCLA with honors. Um, where are you working? Nowhere. Nowhere. I looked at the mother and said, you know, you're like me. We love our children, but we don't want them living with us. She smiled and said, you're for jobs. I'm for you. Again, common sense. We have a choice now. We have a choice. This is a choice. Carly is a choice. Meg is a choice. Anyone who works for you is a choice. Keep the dream alive. Keep our dream alive. Vote in November. Tell a friend. You know, I don't believe that I can convert everyone I meet, just the next person I meet. My grandfather always told me, if you need a helping hand, you grab your own wrist. And that's what we'll be doing in November. Grabbing our own wrist, pulling that lever, or coloring that dot, because we have to make a change. We have to make a change for those youngsters right there, so they'll have a future. Here, so they can live in California. They can live in California and not have to worry about, quote, socialized medicine, be able to choose their own doctors. It's freedom. It's common sense. And we can turn this country and we can turn this state around. Let's get out there and let's do it in November. Thank you very much.